My Demon Episode 2 picks up where we left off with Ji Yu one grabbing Du He's arm and checking the tattoo on her arm. He asks what is happening, and she questions who he is and what he has done to her. She faints, and he holds her in his arms as water falls around them. A flashback shows the tattoo transferring to Du He's arm while she struggles to save him. As soon as Du He passed out in the water, Ji Yu one gained consciousness and grabbed her arm. Presently, Du He wakes up at the hospital with a sweet looking Ji Yu one and Da Jung by her side. Du He is curious about what happened, and the secretary explains she has been sleeping for the past five hours. Ji Yu one alerted Da Jung to their trouble, and she came through. Du He is surprised to see Ji Yu one acting so sweet in front of Da Jung and asks what is wrong with him. After Da Jung leaves to call the doctor, Ji Yu One's true colors pop out. He tells Du He that he has already given the police a detailed description of the culprit. The conversation switches to the tattoo, and Du He tries to rub it off. She realizes it is a real tattoo and starts considering laser treatment to get it off. Ji Yu One hurries to block her way, and they continue to bicker. Ji Yu One is offended that she wants to get rid of his tattoo and gives her a warning. He grabs her arm and notices that he can control his demon powers as long as he holds her hand. In the scuffle, Du He accidentally gives him a hard slap. The doctor arrives and says Du He passed out from exhaustion. The police also arrive to get Du He's statement about the incident. They start by checking the facts of the case, and the blind date comes up. The police joke that the two have been through a lot since their first date, and they should probably get married. Of course, Du He and Ji Yu one vehemently turn down that idea, saying they don't wish to get married. They claim their blind date was a mistake forced upon them. Ji Yu one receives an alert that the time is almost up for a soul, and he excuses himself. He heads back to his office and finds Bak Gyu reading the demon manual. He is unsure how Bak Gyu got his hands on his book, but he takes it back and keeps it in a safe. Bak Gyu notices something is off Ji Yu One no longer has his tattoo. Initially, Ji Yu One tries to pretend everything is fine, but Bak Gyu refuses to let the issue go. He wonders why Ji Yu One wants him to do a background check on Du He and how the demon lost his powers. Bak Gyu is worried about the loss of Ji Yu One's powers, and Ji Yu One explains that if a demon fails to make new deals, he starts to combust. He is also worried about himself and how Ji Yu One will collect souls. Ji Yu One is adamant that collecting souls is as easy as chewing gum, but it pans out differently when he goes to work. The contract is with a wrestler, and he and his friends go to town on Gu Wan. This forces the demon to retreat and come up with a new plan. Meanwhile, Du He gets ready to head to the office. Da Zheng informs her that the company has been losing money since Su An's interference. In a flashback, we see her standing near a car when it explodes, and her knee hurts. It is unclear if she was involved in Du He's parents' death and why she was standing near that car. After handling Su An, Du He agrees to meet with Ji Yu Wan, and he confesses that he is having trouble after the last incident. Du He offers to pay him, but he turns the money down. He says he has become lethargic and needs her help. He asks her to join him for a drive. He then uses her to get rid of the wrestler. He takes advantage of the fact that he can still use his powers when holding her tattooed arm. Du He is shocked but fails to understand what is going on. She thinks he is into her, but he only wants his powers back. He takes her for a stroll by the river and pushes her into the water. Du He is shocked and appalled by his actions. She starts crying, asking why he did that, knowing very well she is already traumatized by what happened to them at the bridge. She is also frustrated that everyone around her wishes her ill. She continues to cry, asking what she did wrong to deserve such treatment. He explains that she would have refused if he had asked them to jump into the river. Ji Yu One is remorseful after her outburst, but she throws money at his face, saying she no longer owes him and walks away.
Bok Gyu observes this interaction, and once Du He leaves, he teases Ji Yu Wan for being clueless. However, Ji Yu Wan is frustrated because his powers haven't returned. He thought this was a sure-fire way to get his tattoo back. In the meantime, Ga Young practices her sword dancing, channeling her anger with Du He. The scene intercuts with the killer delivering a phone to someone else. Su An loses her patience as she cleans the mess she created, and So Hoon, weirdly looking at the Tai Du He, tries to fix it for him. On the other hand, Du He crosses the road on her way home, and someone tries to pour acid on her. Thankfully, Ji Yu Wan is once again quick to save her even though he gets hurt. His actions move Du He. She narrates how his presence in her life changed everything.